Hey guys, I'm Jane Dupree, and today I'm showing you how to play double kiss shots. Now, before I show you any shots, if I can get my glove situated, I need a new one of these. Comment below what glove brand you like the most. Do you like Kamui or do you like... I'm using the Pro Series glove, but they always fall apart. Look at that. But anyways, let's get right to the video. I'll use the strike ball so you can kind of see a little bit of spin. Let's say, well, first I need to show you what a double kiss is. So imagine, whoops, imagine that you are like this, and you're shooting the cue ball straight into the tent, and the tent's on the rail. Watch what happens. You see how the cue ball comes back, and that tin ball, like if it was at an angle, this is how, this is how it would go if it was at an angle with that speed. You see how much further it goes than that last time? And you see how the cue ball kind of accelerated backwards that time? That's because you can't see it with just your eye without slow motion. Uh, I may get a super slow motion camera around like Christmas time just to show you guys better shots. But when the cue ball goes into this ball, this ball is hitting the rail, coming back into the cue ball, and this ball loses all of its energy and the cue ball starts coming backwards. So in, in faster, it's like, bam, bam. So they're really going, bam, bum, bum, bum. So it's all happening really, really fast, but just in fast motion, it's like that. So let's imagine we are in this situation where we cannot cut the tin ball into that corner. It just won't work. I, I did thin it right there. You saw it. You saw that tin ball move, but we scratched. Uh, let's hit it a little thicker so you can guys can see it more. See how it just jaws the pocket? Plus we have that scratch down here. The ball is going to automatically go towards that pocket if we don't use a ton of spin to avoid it. So what we're going to do is we're going to double kiss this ball in. So the two balls should hit each other twice. So the cue ball is going to go into this ball. This ball will compress the rail, come back out, hit off the cue ball, and go in. Now, it's just going to look like the ball is just going into the pocket, but you know that can't be the case because we are hitting this ball pretty full. We aren't cutting it at... We're only cutting it a little bit. So, like, we're hitting, like, nine-tenths of this ball, where to cut it in, you need to hit 0.1 tenths of the ball. So it's really, really hard to cut it in. It's, it's actually impossible, as I showed you. Just, you can't cut it in. Well, you could play something like that, which is completely unintentional, but we're just gonna spin this ball in using throw and the double kiss. So we're gonna use a little bit of left spin and hit this tin ball at a medium speed, just a tad bit over to the right side. So, you see how they just hit twice and it sends that ball right into the pocket. Uh, in this video, I'm going to go through a couple shots like playing the cue ball off a double kiss, avoiding a double kiss, and uh, banking with a double kiss. So let's get further into the video. Okay guys, so the double kiss bank shot. Let's say that our tin ball is like at the half point between this third diamond and this side pocket, and it's touching the rail, and the cue ball is just at a tad bit of an angle, if not straight in, with that tin. So if we try to bank it into this side, we're aiming for that side, see how it just gets hit back over there? So what we are going to do is we are going to use that to our advantage. We're going to have these two balls hit each other twice, and the tin ball should be set right into this corner. So we're going to hit it as if we're banking it into this side. Maybe just a little overcut, like maybe we were banking to here. We're going to hit the cue ball with some draw, just so we don't scratch, because uh, you saw last time how it went bam, bam, and really close to this pocket. So we're going to hit it with some draw just to avoid the scratch. And that tin ball should be thrown right into that bottom corner pocket, and here it is. Okay, so now we are going to use a double kiss to our advantage. 
Let's say we are in this situation where the timbal is frozen on the rail and the cue ball is across from it. And this is a really tough cut shot. We have to play the, like the impossible cut shot on that. And it's really just really hard to make. See that scrunch right there. So remember how last time we hit the ball and you see how the cue ball just comes off of it? We're going to use that to our advantage to make this nine ball down here. So we are going to hit the cue ball with a tad bit of backspin. Uh, don't use a lot of backspin because that throws it off. You really don't need any, but I just use about a tip of backspin and it just helps me. We're going to hit a little bit on the left side of the 10. So the 10 ball is going to compress the rail, come back and hit the cue ball. The cue ball will come down and make the 9 into the corner. Uh, this is a very useful shot. The 9 doesn't even have to be in, in the corner. If it's near there, you're probably going to make it. So here it is. Okay, so now avoiding double kisses. So those were good double kiss instances. Now let's show you some bad ones where you can really not use the double kiss to your advantage. So let's say we're here, we're playing eight ball, and we need to make this solid, this stripe right here. And this pocket's blocked by a solid. I guess we could play like the run through shot, but that's pretty difficult. We could, we could play the run through. Uh, but let's just say we like the double kiss option more. So, I mean the non-double kiss cross bank option. So what we're going to do is we are going to bank the nine ball off of this rail all the way down here to this corner pocket. So we're going to have to cut into it, but the problem with that, we may not double kiss this time, but watch how close they are. You see how it barely missed it? And look, we were way off on that uh, bank. So if we were like on line with that bank, let's cut it more. You see how close they are on either side? That was too much of a cut. But you see how close they are. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna play it with some inside spin. So in this case, that would be right spin. So we are just going to cut the nine ball into the rail down here and use some top right spin to bring the cue ball into this rail and bring it underneath the nine by a good way. So into the rail underneath the nine so the nine has enough clearance to get down here to this pocket. Uh, it's a very simple escape. You can use it both like on this side if you're trying to cross bank over here. You can use some top left to go into this rail and under it. But top right cut the nine, hit it medium, medium hard, whatever speed you really want to to get to that pocket. And you should be able to get that nine into the corner and avoid it with the cue ball. And here it is. Okay guys, so now I'm just gonna show you the same shot on if it was on this long rail. Uh, just cross bank this. Let's just imagine there's a blocker ball right there covering that pocket. Let's say we need to make the seven. I know this isn't really a realistic situation. So we need to make the seven. And we're just going to cross bank it, but we're worried about the double kiss and how close the cue ball will get to that seven. So I know. It didn't hit it right there, but it was really close. So even if you don't think it'll hit it, I would recommend doing this anyway, just for the extra insurance, just so you know 100% that the cue ball will not hit that seven ball whatsoever. So very, very, very useful technique. You will need to use this on a lot of things. So here the here's the shot, cross bank into the corner. Okay, for this shot, we are going to use the double kiss as a safety. So let's say we're playing eight ball, and we're both on our last shot. And let's just say we played a poor position shot. Let's say we were playing the two, 
and we shot it in this corner, and we hit it back. We hit it just stopping the cue ball where it was. And now look where we are. We have a terrible shot on the eight, and we can't really play it anywhere. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually hit this really slowly, and uh, the eight needs to be a little bit away from the rail, which it is. It's about a millimeter away from the rail. So what we're going to do is make sure it's against the rail because technically if it's frozen to the rail, like make sure it's a little bit away from the rail because if it's frozen to the rail and you hit it and the cue ball doesn't hit a rail after, then it's an illegal shot and your opponent gets ball in hand. So definitely make sure that it's a little bit away from the rail before you try this. And Otherwise, you could just cut it down that way, leave the eight ball over here, and leave the cue ball down here for a tough shot. But if it's a little bit away from the rail, this is a great safe shot. So we're just going to barely tap the cue ball so it taps the eight into the rail, and leave the cue ball and the eight real close to each other, and leave our opponent in the same situation, uh, just harder. So make sure you don't hit it too far on this side, or you'll leave your opponent like a shot into the corner. So it's... It's a real speed shot. We're just going to hit it pretty straight on. Uh, I will shoot it a couple times and show you my best attempt. If I can get this to stay just about a millimeter away from that rail, just always remember it has to be a little bit away from the rail because a ball has to contact the rail. So just shoot it about this speed, like that, and now see where your opponent is. So the eight ball hitter rails, perfectly legal shot. Now what's your opponent going to do? A, the eight ball's frozen to the rail, so they're not going to get a rail contact unless the cue ball hits it. And watch what happens when they just hit it straight on. Their tip is the cue ball twice, which is a foul. You get ball in hand. You just set up for the easy eight into that corner pocket right there. So that was the last shot of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, click that like button down below. Uh, if you want to be notified when I post again, click that subscribe button and then the bell icon right next to it. That'll just send you an email and a notification saying that I've uploaded some new content. Thank you guys so much for 5,000 subscribers. Again, that's absolutely insane. Uh, thank you guys for 700,000 views. That is crazy as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed and I hope this video helped you become a better pool player.